hello friends today's video would be a wonderful message for you please watch this video till the end and i'm sure that you will be blessed today i had a thought while i was watching a video on youtube and the topic of the video was why god didn't kill satan before the sin disease could spread what an interesting statement before the sin disease could spread why god didn't kill satan similarly we can also say why god didn't stop corona before corona disease could spread before lots of people could die why god didn't kill corona and we don't have answer for this some people say that our god is a loving god and that's the reason he didn't want to punish satan so soon that's why he didn't kill him someone said that god is a uh, bringing suffering upon his children some people are getting uh, cancer some people are uh, dying early some people are meeting with accidents god is allowing these things so that we will remember him and we will pray and we will be dependent on him that's why he is allowing satan to do this so some people say that it is their perspective and some people say that if god would have destroyed satan in the first place because satan was uh, a very beautiful angel uh, in heaven and if he would have been killed then the entire heaven would have been disturbed all the angels in the heaven Uh, would have been terrified and they would have been trembling and in fear they would have served the lord and that's the reason god didn't want them to serve him with fear and trembling hands that's the reason um, god didn't destroy satan because god wants uh, his children or angels to serve him with love and not with fear so that was also one perspective someone shared so as i was deeply thinking about this topic few perspective um, i would like to share uh, which uh, i got while while studying this particular topic so please watch till the end uh, there was an incident happened Uh, today in Ghaziabad, where uh, a nine years old boy died in his school, uh, he fell down from the stairs, broken his nose. Uh, they rushed him to hospital, where doctor declared him dead. His parents couldn't accept the fact, and they said, "It is not." Uh, a sudden disaster come upon them it is a planned murder and they said they will investigate upon uh, upon this topic and they are going to fight the battle in order to give justice to their child and that would be their mission and they will only focus on that till their last breath so what i felt after watching that news is if we humans if we have so much of love for our child and we would like to give justice to our child no matter what uh, challenges we are going to face then how much more our heavenly father would have been doing for us in order to give us justice because a god is not only a god of love and god of compassion and forgiveness our god is also god who judges god who punishes 
so these things also uh, we need to come up with because in the bible in the book of zakaria chapter 2 verse 8 it says that if they touch the people of god it is like they are touching the apple of god's eye so such a great sin they are doing against the lord if someone touches the children of god if someone disturbs uh, the children of god and make them to fall into sin god is not going to leave that person he is going to punish that person so satan was a beautiful angel created by god but he destroyed the plan which god had for adam and eve in the first place and someone said when god threw satan from heaven he didn't die because god made them uh, to live forever like him when god created angels he created them like him that they will live forever that's the reason even after throwing satan from heaven he didn't die so some people say that so if god knew that he will not die even after throwing from heaven then why didn't why did god threw him from heaven what i feel is god threw him from heaven because god didn't want his presence around the good people he was protecting the remaining angels in heaven from him and that's the reason he threw him from heaven so that is my perspective uh, may not be 100 percent right but i just got that insight some people they take a reference from the old testament and they said that moses made a serpent of bronze as per written in old testament and put it upon a pole and whenever a serpent beat someone that person would look at the serpent of bronze and live so moses did that because god asked him to do so as per numbers 21 verse 9 so some people say that because people were sinful that's the reason god sent poisonous serpents over there and made those serpents to kill his children so that uh, they will plead to the lord for healing uh, but when i was deeply thinking about it this happened because of lack of faith god found lack of faith in his people and that's the reason he brought this situation upon them so it is very important to have faith in god what went wrong in the garden of eden what god said to them they didn't believe that god said if you eat um, the fruit of this particular tree you will surely die but they didn't have faith in what god said to them so that is the greatest sin what i feel is in the side of god when god says something you are not having faith in his word so we have bible and whatever is written in bible if we don't have faith in that we are in the shoes of adam and eve there are so many things god says so many promises he has given over our life but we don't have faith we think that it will never happen what god promised so when we show lack of faith 
in God, that's the time he feel that we are going away from him. So faith is very important. If you have a strong faith in God, if thousands Lucifer come in front of you and they try to take away your faith in God, they will not be successful. If you have strong faith in the Lord. So God wants to build a strong faith system in you. God created hell for Satan and whoever follows Satan and don't follow what Christ says will go through torment, will go through suffering, everlasting suffering and torment. So Lucifer had challenged the fairness of God's garment. We need to understand this. He has told lies about God. The idea of telling a lie had never entered the minds of the angels. Naturally, they didn't grasp all that lay behind Lucifer's deception and that's the reason to protect the remaining angels in heaven. God removed him from that place and threw down from heaven. If people are troubling in your life and they are plotting devastating schemes against you, God will remove them. You don't have to run away from them. God will remove them from your path. You don't have to worry. If you get uh, a bad news, if you are diagnosed with some terrific disease and you feel that now you are going to die, don't worry. Have faith in God. He has the power to heal you. What matters in the kingdom of God is faith. If your faith is strong, you can move mountains. So I just would like to conclude over here is God is going to send Satan in hell where torment would be there for him, eternal torment. So his place is is built by God. Hell. But for you and me, he has made rooms in heaven and he's welcoming us over there. So don't get terrified after reading Revelation. Have faith in God. Spend quality time with him. Some people say that diseases occurs in your life because you're not spending time with God. So when trouble comes, that's the time God will make you to remember him. Spend everyday time with God, equality time with God. And he will bless you. And also he will bless others through you. You are like a fountain in the kingdom of God which would never stop you are like an eagle you will not grow old you will have strength all the days of your life have faith in God all things are possible God bless you